This is Paranormal Shorts, Session 9 by Keith Evans at the Digital Alarm Clock. I requested that only one ghost or spirit communicate with me during this paranormal session. I suggest that the first ghost or spirit to give me their first and or last name will be the one that will talk to me during this session. This session will probably be about uh, approximately 20 minutes long. Today is Thursday, 24 February, 2022. Okay, Ornamus, you're going to be the first person that talks to me. Well, I didn't get to really see the see the name, but it sounded like Ornimus. Ornimus, <clears throat> how are you doing tonight? You're going to be the only one that's talking to me. Everyone else is going to have to hold their tongue so we can have a reasonable conversation. Repeated tied branches. Sacrifice. No sacrifices. Get that out of your head. Will. Anyway. I want to ask you, what what is your last name? Is Ornimus your first name or your last name? Okay, I'm about uh, fine. Prop. Maybe a foot away from the uh, digital alarm clock. We'll find prop. I get prop infrequently, but I don't know what the word prop would even mean. We'll find a prop. A prop is something you use in a play. You know, it's... Anyway, that's more or less nonsense talk. I'm not in a play. Were you in a play? What type of prop do you want me to find? The prop could be anything that would be utilized in a play. Now, is this Ornimus? Ornimus was the first one to give me his first and or last name. Score. Easy. Score easy. Well, anyway, make sense. Answer my questions. If you're not going to make sense, answer my questions. Then I'm going to ask someone else to talk to me. What year did you die, Ordemus? Oh, now it's like the cat's got your tongue, huh? Let's see, I'm close to the digital alarm clock. All right. Judge. Judge? Yes, I judge. I asked you a question knee and you don't answer. Cake him. Knee cake him. Yes. Anyway, I think you meant to say scan. kick me in the knee. <laughs> Guess scan. Well, now this is a obelisk 5B. Milk. Anyway, answer my questions or I'm going to back away from the obelisk five. Bacon. Mm. Triangle. Disturb. I can see I'm about four foot away. Bacon, triangle, disturb. That doesn't answer any of my questions. All right. <clears throat> when I approach the digital alarm clock which I feel is a location where many ghosts gather, I guess, so they can tag along with me as I do my <clears throat> traveling around to different paranormal locations and 
as I travel around and promote my Mike. book. I guess they want to be uh, near me. Okay, Mike. Mike, I'm Keith Evans. Nice to meet you. At this point in time, Ornimus, I'm only going to talk to Mike. You had your turn, Ornimus. Now I'm going to talk to Mike. And I'm going to approach the alarm clock. Mike, can you tell me your last name? If you don't want to tell me your last name, uh, what is your favorite town in the USA? All right, maybe you don't remember your favorite town. What is your favorite beach, Mike? What is your favorite carnival ride? I'm probably within six inches of the uh, digital alarm clock. Mike, did you like to go fishing? What's your favorite fish to eat? Mike, were you a hunter? What was your favorite weapon? Paula. Hey, Paula. I guess Mike ran out of gas. Brave. Oh, yeah, I'm going to back up. Cause these are just words coming up, and I, uh, I want to ask Paula a question. Nice to meet you, Paula. <clears throat> Paula, I'll get closer to the digital radio alarm clock after I ask you a question. Uh, Paula... What was your favorite record of all time? Stream. Stream. Who sung the record oh. Stream? Up. Oh. Well, am I going to catch anything? It's a dark room. <laughs> no, nothing. Anyway said brave before stream up. I didn't Waves. hear brave. Waves. Emmeline. Okay. Emmeline. I'm going to back off so I can ask Emmeline a question. Emmeline, are you the young lady that grew up at the Hayes house when it was first built by uh, Jeff Buck in 1908? Emmeline or Emmeline? I guess it would be Emmeline. Were you the uh, fifth child of Jeff Buck, the youngest of the family? Was your bedroom what uh, was later called Met the Mary's Room within my book, The Hayes House, Ghost or People Too? Okay, after Emmeline, presidents and hunting. Okay, so Ghost or Spirit is acknowledging that I was talking about hunting. All right, I'm going to approach the uh, alarm clock. Emmeline, give me your last name as I approach the alarm no. clock. No. Well, I know it, but I want the people to hear you say your last name, please. So. Known some. Emmeline, do you not remember your last name? Did it start with a B, Emmeline? Power. Ball. Emmeline, was your last name Buck? B U C K? Emmeline, were you Jeff Buck's daughter? Disregard. I'm about clock. six inches from the digital alarm clock. Disregard the water. Aqua is French for water. You said wave. 
Or you're talking about the ocean waves. I think they're kind of rough. I can hear them. Emmeline, are you out of energy? Well, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Jeff Buck's youngest daughter, his fifth child, had a name similar to Emmeline. So I think that is who I'm picking up from the Hayes House in Apalachicola, Florida. Emmeline, do you have anything else you'd like to say, or can I ask another person to give me their name and uh, let them answer some questions? Emmeline, would you like to ask me a question before uh, before I go on to another ghost or spirit, or are you out of energy? Wire lead. Wire lead. Well, I guess if you're visiting my digital alarm clock, I'm sure it has a circuit board in there, and uh, you could consider that to be a wire connection with a lead, a set. I guess you could consider my circuit board might be considered a set, a set of circuits. All right, I, I guess Emmeline is finished for now. We're out of energy. So, Emmeline, and nice talking to you, and I uh, will talk to you in the future. Um, I'm still about six inches from the digital alarm clock. Threat. Underline threat. Well, we don't need that right now. Uh, <clears throat> I need the next person to give me their name, and then you can either ask me a question or I can ask you a question. Next person. X. X. Uh, no X. There's no X around here. That's kind of like a word that's overused. I, I think if that word is put in the Obelisk 5, it's put in for the people that like the horror show. So, there's no horror show here. I'm just communicating with the ghosts and spirits that are in the environment. All right, who's next to talk to me? I mean, one person at a time talking. Scratched. Pike. Oh, nobody's been scratched. Hike. Anyway, I'm going to take a hike. I'm going to be here a little bit longer agitating you, if that's what you consider it. <laughs> but, next one to talk, give me your name, and you can ask me a question. Got to give me your name first. This is... Pretty cool. Look how close I am to the alarm clock, and I'm not Good. getting constant Riddle. words. Stars. A pellet. I'm going back away. I need a name. All right, I'm probably about four feet away. Uh, middle stars. A pellet. Dark. dark. Yeah, the room is dark. It's much easier to see the uh, words on the Obelisk 5 when it's dark. And not only can the camera pick it up, I can pick it up. During the sunshine, I have to really struggle to see the, uh, the letters and the words on the face of the uh, Obelisk 5B because a lot of times I just get a mirror image. 
I just got light shining off the screen. The Obelisk 5B is definitely made to be used in the dark. Well, stars apple it in dark. The stars are out at night, and it's dark at night. I don't know about apple it. I don't know if it means appeal it, like appeal it court. I've gotten apple it a good bit. So I have no idea what that means. I'll have to look that up. A-P-P-L-E-T. All right, I'm going to approach the digital alarm clock, and I need uh, uh, at least one ghost or spirit to give me their name, and that will be the only one who is talking. Um, I'm going to have a question for you. I'm not sure what type of question I can make out of stars, appellate, and dark. My question <clears throat> will be, what is your favorite sport? So... Please give me your name and tell okay. me your favorite sport. Betty. Oh, I. Right. Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. Sin. What is your favorite sport? Oh, I. Huge. Telep telepathy. Finn. Huge. Telepathy. Telepathy is not a sport, Betty. What type of sport did you like to either watch or play? Betty, did you like volleyball? How about basketball? Betty, if you're asking me a question by these three words, telepathy, thin, and huge, I'm not sure what type of question you're asking me, but can you clarify your question at all for me, Betty? Yeah, I'm like six inches from the digital alarm clock, so... Betty, I think, is trying to build up some energy. So I'm going to give her a little time. Maybe Betty wasn't in the sports. Maybe I should ask another question. Betty, when you were alive, did you ever do paranormal research? Well, it's saying that I'm reaching my limit on storage space. Most. So I think I'm going to cut things short and wish everyone a good night.